Yes, definitely. With the, the electric, the power plant, the hydro power plant that they built along this river, uh, it was uh, built with a purpose to provide electricity. So again, the, the hydro power plant that uh, was built on the nearby river uh, was uh, with the purpose to provide the castle, the first electrified castle, with electricity so that they had uh, lighting inside, we had a central vacuum cleaner system, I will show you once we get inside. Uh, and it was definitely a novelty, people from all corners of Europe uh, would come here on the Olympic Express to see the novel, the new experience in the world. that would be with him, actually, two guards in his cabinet while he was doing work to protect the castle. They weren't put originally here, if you take a look, they were actually in the entrance, but they moved it. Or, you know, hunting trophies, anything related to the uh, life, how he imagined it back in, in Germany, to remind him of his whole life. Uh, but all these two things that he carried with him and, uh, and brought them uh, to, to Romania. That you see for the taxis, they were barbarians basically, and parts of these areas were conquered by the Romans through Trajan. Uh, Marcus Aurelius and Adrian, in my opinion, Marcus Aurelius and Adrian, well, not the rooms, maybe not the upper floors, but definitely the first floor and the second floor. The children are coming. The children are coming. We must go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Some other museums, you know, you can't, like, they have them behind the glass or something. This is the only room he didn't change since he got here. There are very dangerous death areas, and some of these artifacts, and this is a real story. Uh, and it's not good to, uh, to cut or, or stay here and stay here at the At that time, he was becoming increasingly paranoid with his culture and so on. So he really didn't just There was apparently a bacteria, but probably not as dangerous. Uh, he bought it and he never touched the castle. Wow. So we, it's one of the reasons why we have this castle. Sculptura, prea de cele sențe diferite de lemn, a fost comandată atelierelor Berghardt Ludwig din Viena. Vitraliile reprezintă valoroase lucrări elvețiene din secolele al XVI-lea și al XVII-lea și sunt datate și semnate. His reaction to this, I mean, look at this room. Look at this music room, darling. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hey, look at my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place, man. It's one of the music rooms. There were, there were multiple, multiple music rooms. And this was the favorite room of Queen Elizabeth. And why are they... So they're gambling on a pirate ship. Yeah, <laughs> With a naked woman. For the naked woman. For the naked woman. For the naked woman. She's the pride. Oh, she's a prisoner because she's broke. She's still the prize. That's why she's there. Right. Just the box, not the. No, the whole thing. You sometimes can travel with these even smaller ones. Yeah. But not traveling with. I can promise you, not these ones are very heavy. They're made from. This is called the Florentine. Want to know something else interesting? That was so loud. Class. The upper class men were supposed to have small, elegant. That's your formal dining room. This is Note where the lack of ketchup and mustard bottles if you're in California and you might know. This is where etiquette had to be properly respected. A certain glass for it's a certain yeah, drink. It's five glasses on each place. Yeah, because a, every drink would be served in a certain way. No shirt, no service. No shirt, no shoes, no dye. What you will see around in the on the chairs, and you also can see from here. And uh, you would discuss maybe some more private business. So they do, they do you know, chandeliers, mirrors, decorations. It wasn't only in Asia, you know, but it was also popular in Germany. The different scenes are this. And they have the paintings, if you look through the second floor balconies, yeah. the paintings line up with the balconies. The porches, right? It was electrifi electrified, so from the beginning they, they thought of how to integrate uh, lighting. Mm -hmm. We'll go this way. This way? Yeah. 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 But, you, know, you have fun exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's many, many hidden yeah. pathways and so on. I've never been there because it's usually workers from the castle. Yeah. But let's go to this door, see where we can take us. Yeah. That's a very nice That's a very nice marble gallery that they, um, the corridor that they had in here. What's interesting about this furniture? All around, it comes in a set if you take a look at it. And with that, I'm not sure exactly to be honest with you. I just know that it has been worked during three generations of carpenters. So it can yeah. You feel it? You feel it breathe? Yeah. Does it work? You, can't, you don't feel it? It's coming. It's coming already. Yeah. This one is Rococo style. Okay. I have the rooms match. This is a French room, but the painters are Italian. Where? Uh, so, uh, um, oh. This was definitely a hidden door. The way we enter, the Imperial apartment, much larger, as you can see. Um, and this is like a, a pedestal, I love that. This was actually built specially for the purpose of the visit of the uh, Holy Roman Emperor, France, oh, really? yeah, France to um, um, uh, Joseph. And he got in here, took his place, not that for them, but a lot of, a lot of money put into this apartment, as you can imagine. 
where the logger around began. Uh, I think it's kind of square now in what we are used to, but actually during those times, um, the kings had queen size beds of today.